four candidates may soon turn into five in the NDP leadership race. If he raises the estimated $30,000 needed to enter, Pat Stogren, a retired colonel for the Canadian Forces and Canada's first veterans ombudsman, will pledge his candidacy. He joins us now from Ottawa. Pat, thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. Well, for all intents and purposes, you will be running uh, in this leadership race, but the barrier of entry so far is that $30,000. What do you tell people who are sitting on the fence right now who say that, look, they can't, they're not going to pay attention until they know that you're officially in? Well, it, this is a grassroots uh, uh, adventure, if you will. It's not all about me, and it's not all about the NDP or the government. This is about balanced objective decision making and the fact that we are in crisis in Canada. We're in crisis economically, we're in crisis environmentally, security wise and first and foremost institutionally. Uh, our government, whether it's conservatives or liberals, it's the same old garbage in a different bag and these are very dangerous times we're living in. So it, I would much sooner be enjoying my retirement from uh, public service, but I just could not stand by and watch us continue to fritter away Canada's good reputation. Uh, Pat, the second NDP debate is less than a week away. Are you going to make that deadline? No, definitely not, because once again, I'm not uh, looking for sugar daddies to throw big bucks at my campaign. I'm hoping to convince Canadians that if they can give me a toonie or a couple of bucks that they can afford, that this is going to be their fight. This is the people's fight. I've got to bring people to the NDP. I moved to the NDP because I am apolitical and I believe that the only reason we have government is to care for people. So while the liberals and conservatives are, are fighting over the status quo, I want to be very, very progressive and I want to understand what Canadians really need. And so I'm reaching out to Canadians. Help me on this. Uh, Pat, uh, if there was a criticism of the first um, of the first NDP uh, leadership debate, it's that there were no questions about foreign policy. Now, uh, the 2015 NDP platform uh, said that the party would meet the, our, our military commitments by maintaining Department of National Defense budget allocations, and they would push for a $40 billion national shipbuilding procurement strategy. However, a lot of the grassroots would be very happy with slashing military spending and withdrawing from uh, from NATO. So, where do you fall in this debate? Well, clearly, uh, it's completely irresponsible to suggest that we're going to withdraw from NATO. And, and, you know, everything that you've said to me kind of fell upon deaf ears. It was blah, blah, blah. It was all about the last election. I, what I can say is that we really have to uh, reassess NATO's role in this world. You know, we're reinforcing failure right now. We failed in Afghanistan. We failed in Libya. We're creating a huge, huge crisis, not only humanitarian-wise, but security-wise. And NATO's at the front of this. Let's face it, Canada is a stalwart member of NATO. We were the first country when the United States was attacked by the fourth generation threat that we're facing in this information age. We were the first ones to put troops on the ground. I know, I was there. I'm proud of that record. But the best way that you can have be sure that you're going to be mauled by a bear is to be poking it with a stick. And right now, there are huge powers at play. And what's happening in the Ukraine is not different from what's happening in the Middle East. It's tied together. It's all about strategic tit for tat. And our government is just throwing our troops in. Uh, Pat We've is got to have a Canadian agenda. Pat, as a veteran and a person who struggled with PTSD, we all know that veterans affairs, very important issue to you. But what are some other policies that are going to be part of your platform? Oh, it's about caring for people. It's about bringing some uh, pragmatism to the, uh, to the agenda of the new Democratic Party. Uh, I love what's contained in the LEAP manifesto, but I'm not going to leap to my death. I would like to use that as a long-term vision. And as any responsible CEO would do in any organization, rather than trying to throw money at the problem and hope for the best, I want to take steps towards the ultimate aim and impose on our public service some measures of effectiveness and most importantly, measures of performance of senior management to make sure that we're, uh, uh, we're achieving our goals. This is not about hiding my mistakes for political expediency. This is about fine tuning and correcting programs to make sure, much like the failure with our veterans, but so that all Canadians who need help are being looked after by their government. So this is not about policy, uh, politics. To me, this is about public policy. In fact, I abhor the political culture 
but we need some real leadership in this country, and I just don't see it happening. Pat Stogren, thank you very much.